Welcome to how to upgrade your Lotus Domino server in under five minutes. In fact, it really may only take three minutes. What you see on the screen are two windows. One with the downloaded files available to start the install, and the other with a server console still running. We're going to quit the server and let that slowly shut itself down appropriately. And at the same time, we're going to start the process of unzipping the installation file and getting that process to start running. The server has already been backed up, so I don't need to take time on the video to have you watch that. Your server mileage may vary as far as time for that purpose. As far as doing the actual installation, though, you'll see that this is pretty efficient. This is a relatively decent server. It's only about a year old, so it's full of RAM relatively efficient processor has a disk space there we go the server console is finished and the server installation file is just about to get ready to start its process I'm going to minimize the window so we get a full screen effect and what you're going to start seeing is the installation process there's a few items we need to check and then we need to say go and that's pretty much it and then it's going to run its process opening screen click next say yes that you've reviewed everything and you want to install it pick the right directory the appropriate data directory pick the enterprise server in this case as it's a clustered server and away we go and now for the next oh minute minute and a half or so it's going to update the server when it's done it's going to pop up and say you need to restart your server to accomplish the completed installation for the sake of time, I did not bother to video that because I can't anyway. But suffice it to say, between the time the server has gone down and the time the server would come back up for your users, it would be about five minutes, give or take. Obviously, depending on hardware and speed, etc. What you're seeing now is the files getting installed, getting upgraded on the server. And the process the server runs through once it restarts uh, loads the design factor. It updates certain templates, updates some parameters, and makes everything up to date on the now Lotus Domino server 8.5.1 version. The server, if I didn't say before, was running 8.5 fix pack 1 prior to this update. It was also running same time. This is not an approved recommended solution from IBM. However, as I know, it does run. Now you see it's just about finished at the 100% mark. And yes, there's even more to do after 100%. And then it's going to be done. And it's going to say, please restart your server at the next chance. And that's going to be all there is to it. So the next time you're worried about updating your servers, remember, it really only takes about five minutes to get it done. And that's all that's required. And if you don't have the time and wherewithal to do it, we are always available to help you. Thank you, and we hope you've enjoyed watching this video, and have a great day.